Okay. okay, folks, so we're here at the MSD stand at Ploughing 2022, and I'm joined by Emma Gilchnan and Catherine Heffernan. Emma, could you tell us a little bit about what you do with MSD? Yeah, so I'm Ruman and Product Manager with MSD. I work in marketing along with Jack O'Connor. Um, today, like you said, we're on the MSD Animal Health Stand. We have a huge amount of questions across our biopharma and LCR technology portfolio today. And Catherine, tell us a bit about what you do with MSD. Yeah, so my role within MSD is Customer and Technical Support Manager. So my, my role, as Emma said, is very much to do with the monitoring technology and um, our sorting gates, drafting gates and somatic side count meters. So. And as we can see in the background here, there's loads of farmers coming and going. Could you tell me a little bit about what kind of questions farmers have and what are the, what are the issues on farmers' minds that they're bringing to MSD at the ploughing? Okay, so from a technical point of view, I suppose we're getting a lot of questions about our sense of collars. So the sense of monitoring collars um, provide farmers with an aid for heat detection and also health monitoring. So there's a lot of questions as to perhaps what kind of information is coming down from these collars, how it can be used as a labour saving device, and also be, to be linked to um, our gates here, which are also behind us. And uh, who would the sense of collars be targeted towards? Is it primarily dairy farmers or who? what kind of farmers are using these collars? Yeah, it, it's um, available for both dairy and beef farmers, so um, it's it's actually suitable for everybody. And what, I suppose, what benefits do they offer to farmers? Like, why are farmers interested in them? What does it do to make life easier for farmers? Yes, yeah, so as we know, we have a, a pretty huge issue in terms of labour in this country, um, across, I think, every sector, but um, in terms of agriculture, the collars are definitely providing a labour-saving um, benefit during the breeding season, but also being able to pick up animals that are sick early and getting a quick uh, response to treatment and getting those animals back in the system as well. And Emma, you're dealing with a different aspect of farmer concerns. What kind of questions are farmers bringing to you and I suppose what solutions are MSD offering to farmers? Yeah, so in terms of animal health, there's lots of questions around maybe like farmers coming in with issues with scour, looking for a vaccination maybe, um, such as bovillus rotavet corona, which you can give to cows 12 to 3 weeks pre calving which will protect them against scour. Um, they're also coming in with maybe looking for options in terms of uh, drying off cows, so maybe like a dry cow antibiotic or a sealer like Keperlock, which we launched last year. Um, then in terms of sheep, maybe like they might be coming in with issues around foot rot, looking for a solution to that. Um, and there we have foot vax, um, which can also be given to sheep as a vaccination to protect them against foot rot. Foot rot is a big issue, as many sheep farmers will know. Yeah. How can this be controlled within a sheep flock? Yes, yeah, so vaccination is just like one part of, let's say, the five-point plan. So the five-point plan being uh, culling, foot bathing, um, vaccination, treatment, um, and isolating maybe infected yews or bought in sheep um, so it's not introduced to the flock. Um, so vaccination, as I said, it's not a silver bullet, bullet and it works in tandem with all the other aspects of the five-point plan. But if farmers have any issue with, with foot rot, um, they can come on down and we have vets on our stand that would be happy to help and advise them further on that. Yeah. And I suppose calving 2023, while it's still at the back of people's minds, it's not that long away, Emma. And of course, a big issue at calving every year is scours. Yeah. Uh, how can these be controlled, especially in dairy farms and also in suckler farms? Yeah. Yeah, so I suppose firstly, they nearly need to get to the bottom of the root cause of the scare. Like maybe it could be rotavirus or it could be crypto. Um, but it's really important to obviously disinfect your sheds, clean them out now, um, get a really good disinfectant in there, um, power wash them out. Um, and then think about vaccination. Like maybe they need to vaccinate with bovillus rotavirus corona against rotavirus. Maybe they need to use something like Halicare for cryptosporidium. Um, but getting to the root cause of what's causing that scare is important. Um, and then obviously bringing all those measures together and implementing them on farm. Catherine, we're seeing big changes in the level of technology being used on dairy farms, on all types of farms, but in particular dairy farms, and we see these collars here. How is technology helping farmers and helping them with their day-to-day -day work? So technology is providing the farmers, I suppose, with it's, it's helping them make those decisions on farm, and it's it's cold hard facts in front of them. So in terms of like breeding, that animal is presented to you uh, exactly the time she's to be inseminated at. Whether you're going to use sex semen or conventional semen, it just makes that all so much easier. As I said, it's cold hard facts. It's very easy to follow. 
but also as I mentioned in terms of the health it's providing an animal to the farmer to inspect um, and helping them identify if there is an issue if, if there's an issue there or also helping them maybe make some herd management decisions also and coming to MSD at Ploughing 2022 is it larger type farmers smaller type farmers or what kind of farmers it's absolutely everybody across the board and the system suits everybody I think it's it's right from you know a farmer who's maybe working on their own um, and they use it as almost another labour source in their farm and similarly for the bigger bigger farmers um, for a similar reason also Emma Gilchnan and Catherine Heffernan thank you very much for joining us and best of luck to all the team at MST thank you, thank you.